In this video, I'll show you how to create email marketing campaigns with system.io. Hi, and welcome to this channel. If this is your first time on the channel, you are welcome. All right, so let's get straight into the video. All right, so hover over emails and click on campaigns. Click on create. Give it a name. All right, so I'll name it Affiliate MKT. So you can give it a description, which is optional. But I don't want to do that because all right, so click save campaign. All right, so right now this is my campaign name or like a folder. So you are the only one who can see this and I'm going to create all my emails inside this. All right, so then I'll click on it. Then inside this, as you can see, athletes MKT. All right, then I'll click on add an email. By default, it's using my brand name which is success page if you want you can use your name so depending on which name you use to set it up all right so by default system.io will use your gmail address or your yahoo email address that you use to sign up for the first time you cannot use that to create email marketing campaigns all right it will not even allow you to do that all right so in my case i purchased my domain name and my email address from namecheap buy a private email address okay this is very very important and i have tutorial on how to set it up so i'll link that in the description box okay so now i'm gonna have to name my email so let's go here so that's my subject so you have two editors you have the visual editor and the classic editor so i'll go with the classic so click create this email has been deferred we are checking the quality of this email due to an automatic alert after the check has been done all deferred messages will be delivered all right so you don't need to worry about this just continue with your stuff this is a default setup your sender email will be here and the sender name all right so now my message, hi, click substitute variable, first name, okay. Then you enter, go back to your email. So I'm using the email swipe of the campaign that I'm promoting. All right, so right click and paste. Press control V. I don't want you to use the mouse. So control V, all right. So everything is pasted. I'm going to push it down highlight everything all right and unbold it because i don't want it bold so i'll add the link here then i'll click on link then i'll go back copy my affiliate link go back right click paste okay if you don't like the color you can change it let's say i want uh, this color I want to say blue, all right? But sometimes red stands out. All right, so I'll keep the red and I wanna add, all right, I'm gonna add more here. So click on the link, right click, paste, okay. And highlight, I'll go red and you can choose to bold it this one too bold and make sure you have uh, your business email address here okay because you need that when you set up it's advisable not to use your home address. It's always good to use your business address. You can go to your post office and get one. But that's up to you. If you want, you can use your home address. But me, I prefer to use a business email address like post office. This is my first email. So you can attach. If you have something to attach, okay, then you choose your file. I'm not going to attach anything. So you can save and publish. You can save and continue or you can save and send a test email. So I'll save. Okay, so this is my first email. Click add. Put the subject again. Subject. Copy and paste it here. I'll use the classic editor. Create. 
All right, so then I'll copy. Okay, so the second one is short. Right click, copy, come here, and remember Control V. All right, so I'll highlight everything. I'm bold. All right, so now I need to add my link. So this one, and click on this. I'm gonna copy my affiliate link one more time. Then right click, paste, okay. And I'll change the color to red. You can use any color of your choice, okay? You don't need to use what I'm using. All right, so scroll down. Click here to watch the video. Bold. Red. Then I'll add the link. Control V or right click and paste. All right, so now I'm done with the second email. Hi. Right. Then substitute variables. I'll use a uh, first name again. Okay. All right, so click save. All right, so now I'm going to edit the timing. Even though this is by default, this is right, but let's go in. So hover over this and click on uh, publish. The day should be zero and minutes. So we put minutes. So normally it takes like 10 minutes. So here we don't need to do anything because this is the first email and time when email should be sent. So you can click on it and check the time. Okay. But I don't need that. Or you can check days that the email should be sent. If you don't want Saturday and Sunday, you can take them off, but that's not a smart thing to do. So then I'll publish. Okay, so because this is done and it's live, you see the check mark now, all right? It says activate or active. So now I'm gonna activate this one too. So I'll click on the publish and this if you want the next day or the second day, it's up to you. So I, I like to do it every other day. So I'll say the second day. Then here, what we need to choose is after the first email, which is this. So this is my first email. So make sure you have that selected. Okay, so let's say if your first email is email number one, you need to choose after the subscribe to email number one, then the second one will be what you have just created. All right, so this time when email should be sent we went through that already so if you don't need it don't worry then click on publish All right let me check something quick it says two minutes here i don't know why oh yeah so this should be days not minutes okay so this should be second day then you click save so it's day two it's good that i went back to check all right so when everything is done there's one more thing you have to do all right, so last but not least, you need to create a tag. By default, system.io has it in the way that when everybody signs out, it goes into your contacts, okay? But when you have the tag, it separates all your campaigns and the reason why people subscribe to that particular email. Let me create a tag, add new tag, and I'll call it affiliate marketing. All right, then I'll save. So in my next video, I'll show you how to create a landing page or how to create a sales funnel or a bridge page. And that is where we're going to use the tags when we are setting up the automation rules. Okay, so and the email, you can create more, okay, as much as you want. But I'll add more later on. But this is just to show you. I don't want the video to be too long. All right. So this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.